Okay, if you want quiet in a great location, I don't think we're going to get anything that tops this place. I can't remember the name of the uh, development here. Uh, we start. What's that? Casa de, Oro. Casa de Oro. We stopped in here without our information sheet, but I showed this house a couple of days ago to somebody else and really liked it, so I'm suggesting it to Tracy to show to you. Where our car parked, that's your number one spot. I think you get the one right next to it too, and this is right next to your your condo. The mailbox is here, where you come to check your mail. Your condo is right here. This is a two-story townhouse in South Palm Springs on very rare fee simple land. Most land around here is owned by the Cahuilla. They will never give it up for the pristine location. Let's go inside. We step in here. Nice tile work. There's a lot of nice things. This house has been freshly remodeled and updated and you're going to see it through it. Over there, that's a wet bar. A big wet bar. That's about six feet of it with a little closet on the side too. Look at this. Look at this. Get ready for it. Bam! Nice fireplace. Beautiful. I don't know if it's brand new. I think it is. If not, it looks brand new. Two stories of windows with a ceiling that reaches even higher as you come up here. This is going to give you warmth in the morning, light for reading, for enjoying, a very outdoor feel all the time. You get a back patio area here that is right on the pool. Now you do have neighbors because everybody is right around this area here, but nobody looks like they really uses their patios. So if you want to, you'd be the only one. Outside of the patio, nice kind of slate. Okay, tiles down there and real slate. Over here on the other side, this would be, by the way, this is the wrong furniture for this and this place is being sold unfurnished. This just kind of staged. Hey, there I am. How you doing? Nice to see you again. Okay, this would be your formal dining room area. You've got a ceiling fan over the top, so your table would be set centered right around there. But here is a very pleasant breakfast nook. Somebody who wants to have a cup of coffee and sit out here in some sort of private or semi-private area. None of your neighbors because you're here. you got a fence in on that side. And over this way here you've got trees kind of blocking in. You've got one sliding door over there. But again every time I've been here the blinds have been pulled totally. So this would be your breakfast nook area. Right back in just off your dining room and your kitchen. Look at this kitchen. Somebody did nice here. This is new counter, new cabinetry. You've got a wine fridge. You've got a double sink. Even got one of these things on the uh, on the spigot there. You got a uh, new dishwasher. It got a new stove, but I'll tell you personally, I wasn't thrilled with the stove. But it's new, so who's to complain? And you got a spot for a refrigerator right here. Gonna have to pick your own. You got your cabinets, you've got a separate washer and dryer room with even more cabinets, storage space, tile still continuing. I haven't talked about it in a while. Go through here. Now let's go back just a little bit. Remember when we came through the front door instead of going straight ahead? If we had turned over this direction, closet, okay. Nice bedroom. And these are good sized rooms. This whole place is like 2,200 square feet. You got a walk in closet in the downstairs bedroom. So if somebody doesn't want to go upstairs, you get a nice bedroom. Good light coming out. I mean, you, know, you put blinds here or something because you want it to be more private so nobody can look in. But it's a nice open window. When you want the light, it's there. And this room is big. This is like 16 feet by 20 feet. I mean, it's almost a two car garage. Okay? The bathroom. This is where this place starts really showing off. As I show you the bathrooms through here, you're going to go like, wow, they are nice. Tile work again. All the bathrooms are tiled. Nice vanity. You've got your toilet in here. And look what they did to the shower. Kabam. Nice tile work. Brand new. Step down. They almost don't even need a door on this shower. This is good. This is nice. Me likey. 
Okay, now, let's go upstairs. Okay, go past your kitchen again. Upstairs. These stairs are not steep. These are just decent, regular stairs. Okay, you got a couple of landing places here. Take a break. Go up to a bigger landing. Oh, look at this. While we're here on the stairs, that second floor window, kind of hard to see on the camera, but if I zoom in, those homes on the hill way far over there, can you see those? William Holden's house, Steve McQueen's house. That's called Southridge. That's the most elite neighborhood in Palm Springs. Nice view of it. Guest bedroom number one. No, I'm sorry, master bedroom. My correction, master bedroom. This is huge bedroom, big bedroom. 20 feet by 20 feet. This is the size of a two car garage. A tall ceiling that goes up probably 12 feet, even up here on the second floor. You got some accent painted walls, good lighting in here, a very private room. Even though you've got big windows, nobody's looking right in on it. Well, there's a fruit tree out there. I think that's a grapefruit tree. So um, you can just live off the grapefruit that grows on the tree outside your window. Walk-in closet number one. It's a little dark, but this is a long closet. This is uh, 10 or 12 feet of closet that's in here. <laughs> Ah, there you go. Let there be light. Mm -hmm. Now down this way as we go towards the bathroom. A real quick... Another walk-in closet. Walk-in closet number two. This one's probably about uh, five feet by eight feet. Look at the tile in here. Oh, let it adjust. These are big squares. These are like 16 or 20 inch square tiles. Okay, this is nice. Built-ins in this closet. So closet number three, not necessarily a walk-in, but you do have hanging rods. This would be, you know, the man's closet, I'm sure. This is the nicest one. It's always the men who get the nicest closet. Nice dark stained wood. It's gonna be like, you know, being at the golf gym or something. You're gonna have your own walk-in closet. Here, you got more, okay. I'm sure the ladies would easily give that up. Double bandies. Kind of funky, modern, cool, artistic, you know, sort of stuff. Big mirror. Okay, that's a hanging mirror, but built in there to fit the whole thing. Okay, and then this kind of ladder uh, display shelving thing. Okay, but all in all, let's back up a little bit so we catch the whole thing. All in all, it's pretty nice. Okay. Each have your own vanity area. Bathroom continues over here into a private chamber for the toilet. So you can be alone when you want to come in here and commune with yourself. And look at this. Another beautiful bathtub shower combination. Kind of a vintage tub, it's a bigger than normal tub. I think that's like something original that's been refurnished. Very varnished, whatever they do, covered, whatever, but it's in impeccable condition. And then the tile work around here and the glass work, it just makes it for a very large, very nice. And if you were all the way up here on the second floor in that tub with the water at the right temperature and relaxing in there, you've got enough to really lay down in that thing. I mean, it's almost a tub for two, but you're not going to hear anything. Listen to the sound. Nothing. Not that. Okay, let's go this way here. Let's go check out another bedroom. Yeah, there's more. Look at this. Cedar lined closet. Who does that? I mean, that gives all of your, your most formal of clothes, you know, that really cool smell when you put them on. And now another bedroom. Very tall ceiling. It's like another 16 feet or something. I don't know if that can show up. Let's follow it up. Bam. That is tall. Can we back up far enough that we can get more of that? That's nice. And this is still a big bedroom. This is probably uh, 15 feet by almost 20 feet. 
You got a window here again looking out towards the parking area, but nice light that'll come in in the afternoon from here. And you'll probably put you know, the blades up, but you know, good light for this room. This room is probably a more private room is the right way to describe it. In here, another walk-in closet. This one is probably again about uh, six feet by eight feet. This is a big place. Did I mention 2,200 square feet? Only about 260 grand. A premier location in South Palm Springs on fee simple land. You don't have to lease the land. These things just don't come up very often. Now the only tub they didn't go fancy on. But it's in good shape. This is kind of original and cleaned up. I don't know why they didn't do this one here, but probably because it didn't really need it. It's a huge tub. That's like a tub that uh, William Howard Taft could fit into. You know, Raymond Burr could fit in that tub. The old Marlon Brando. Okay, I mean, you could fit like one of the big old actors in there. Fat Elvis. You know, whoever you wanted like that. Or if you remember more like John Belushi or Louis Anderson. Anyways, we're getting near the end here. We just walked through three bedrooms, 2,200 square feet, a huge living room with a beautiful kitchen, high ceilings, high windows, private breakfast nook area. What else do you want? Call Tracy. Tell her I got to have this because uh, I just died and went to heaven. All right. This is Eric Meeks. Thank you very much. Have a good day.